Hi guys, it's Matthias. And in today's video, I'd like to share some thoughts, some hope on upcoming battlefield. But first, let me see if I can show you a what seems to be a very frozen little squirrel. See if I can catch it here with my camera. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, he sees us. Hello, squirrel. I'll see how close I can get. Oh, he's starting to get a little nervous now. Oh, there he goes. Just as well. Otherwise, I would probably get wrecked by that squirrel. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me about what I hope to see in an upcoming battlefield. That's actually what this video is about, even though, um, yeah, I got a little sidetracked there. Uh, surprisingly enough, whenever people ask me that question, I have a, I've had a hard time answering it because I feel like it's such a long and such a complex answer. But instead of trying to give you a full answer, I'm gonna give you my first initial thoughts just because they popped up in my head today and uh, maybe I will elaborate on this topic later on. So as you probably know the amount um, when I play Battlefield I play basically 50 to 60 percent infantry and then the rest of it is divided up on a variety of different vehicles. Now in Battlefield 1 it has for the most part been flying but uh, even some tanking, a little bit of horses and uh, some goofing around with light vehicles but for the most part I play... Actually you know what I'm probably wrong about that because uh, uh, last I checked I have more than twice the amount of kills as infantry as I have with tanks and planes combined. So, well, that, that puts infantry at somewhere around, I don't know, 60 to 70%. But it's not important. What I do want to share, however, is that the, the majority of the frustration that I've experienced in Battlefield games is related to vehicles. And it's more so actually in Battlefield 2042 and to some degree in Battlefield 5 than in Battlefield 1, but what I would like to see is that you as the driver or the pilot or should I say you who spawn the vehicle have a certain amount of owner control of that vehicle meaning that if you would uh, switch seat you could regardless of whether or not there is a another person in the driver's seat you could still switch back to that driver's seat and that way force the other player to either leave the vehicle or to randomly get switched to one of the dry, uh, one of the passenger seats or gunner seats. Now, funny as it is, they already have this solution in Battlefield 2042 with the bots, but I think this should be implemented with players as well. Now, to extend on this, I also think that if you as a um, if you spawn a vehicle, uh, and this mostly applies to tanks, and you, for whatever reason, need to get out of the tank for a moment, let's say you want to repair it or drop a turret from Boris or uh, maybe sh maybe throw some grenades or lay down some mines or whatever, you should still have ownership of that same tank at least for a few seconds, like half a minute or something like that, before you need to get back into that tank uh, unless you want to risk lose control of that vehicle. Now, there is a system for that in place or was a system for that in place when I played Planet Side 2. Now in Planet Side there was no timer involved. If you spawn a vehicle that is your vehicle, uh, even if you leave it for, uh, yeah, Regardless if you leave it, it is yours until it's destroyed or despawns because you're out of it. But uh, I think that if you leave a vehicle and you just leave it there or maybe get killed, then your teammates should 
um, should be able to take advantage of that vehicle within, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds of that maybe. And of course, none of this should apply to enemies. If an enemy is able to kill you when you get out of your vehicle, they should be able to get right back in just the way Battlefield works and always has worked, right? Now, what do you guys think about that? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Um, do you think this is a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Do you want to elaborate on this idea? Um, I think this would eliminate some of the frustration, at least with, the, with vehicles. Uh, and also you should have uh, some kind of, how do I say it, priority system, right? So that you could set priority to, uh, let's say, uh, squad mates. If a squad mate comes in, he could have a higher priority to whatever gunner seat he wanted compared to a non-squad mate, for example. Or even if you, as a, as a, um, as the one spawning the vehicle, you can even set manually to a specific player. This player has priority as a gunner over any other player, regardless of whether they are just teammates or squad mates. Stuff like that. And this is to uh, give you more freedom if you decide to spawn a vehicle. Uh, so you can, like, I, I think that, for example, Seat switching in vehicles is really, really interesting, really fun, but I hate it when I seat switch and I can't get back into the driver's seat. And I think that should just uh, be something that would happen automatically, the way that it works with the bots in Battlefield 2042. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that as my first th uh, thoughts on uh, my hope for Battlefield 20 uh, for the next Battlefield in the franchise Not that we're not that I expect to see a new Battlefield anytime soon because Two years of Battlefield 2042 and they seem to still be working on it with new updates and stuff. So Yeah, maybe something they can implement in Battlefield 2042 and maybe even you guys who play Battlefield 1 and as of now hate Battlefield 2042 Maybe you'll come around, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the snow on the trees here before I end the video, check it out. It's minus four degrees right now. Feels a little colder, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. This is what early winter can look like in Gothenburg. Now, to be fair, Gothenburg is on the west coast, which means that we are constantly uh, a bit warmer than what you would expect up here in the north due to the Gulf Stream. So on the west coast, we normally don't get that much snow. And when we get it, we get it later than the other parts of Sweden, Sweden and it doesn't last all that long, but yeah, it's pretty nice when it's here. Some people like it, some people hate it. If you've never seen snow before, we 